Here are the recently completed dual occupancy being built in Nidri, uh, planned for handover early next week. Just did our final inspection and uh, going to do a little walkthrough just to show you some of the luxury items that our clients are talking about these days, even when it comes to uh, dual occupancy, whether uh, living in and selling one or renting both. Uh, we tend to find that uh, most of our clients now are going for the luxury items. Uh, one of the main features here already is just the grand door when you come uh, into the uh, into the property, and uh, we'll come up the stairs. And uh, this is a grand, quite a grand entrance. Got a little study nook here to the left. Uh, beautiful engineered floors, which are becoming uh, very very popular uh, in the market today. We've got uh, low voltage, ec economically uh, economic downlights that uh, use very little power and um, and still give off a beautiful uh, warm feel to the to the hallway. Uh, as you can see, it's a big unit. Uh, walk down the hallway. This one, uh, which is very popular these days, is a master bedroom on the ground floor. Uh, it's yet to be carpeted, so excuse the uh, construction site look. Uh, but come into the master, which is on the ground floor, and into the um, uh, into the ensuite, which is uh, has uh, a double floating vanity um, and. Uh, full height tiling for the ceiling which is pretty much standard in all of our houses now a niche for uh, washing uh, for shampoo bottles and the likes and the frameless full height sc uh, shower screens which uh, give off a really uh, real feel of luxury um, and as you can see here when we close it off um, seals the uh, seals the shower compartment completely uh, away from the rest of the bathroom uh, off the back onto the into the hallway we head towards the main living area in the kitchen. Um, here we have the stairs, again, still to be carpeted, uh, but another feature is stair lights and these polished uh, polished steel, um, sorry, uh, powder coated steel handrails which have been custom designed for this particular house. Um, to the left here we have a laundry, which is, is basically a standard laundry, just fairly large. Uh, small powder room, and then we come to the, uh, to the main uh, living area which is um, a fairly grand area and what I really want to highlight in here is the kitchen and um, and the way that uh, a lot of our clients are finishing off their um, their kitchens these days so this here has got a 40 mil uh, stone or veined stone which is a top end stone uh, bench top uh, the sink uh, again to get the modern looks got a flush flush mount so it doesn't sit on top but uh, is actually flush with the bench top and just to enhance the kitchen uh, in the evening when you turn the lights off um, we have lighting underneath the bench tops which is also becoming uh, very popular uh, wall ovens when the units are large enough um, we'll always uh, aim to get a double wall oven if we in if we can and um, and the cooktop this one in particular um, it's got the induction cooktop uh, but another nice feature, which is getting popular these days, is the splashback window. Uh, so rather than have tiles or glass, to get more light into the kitchen, uh, we, end, we put in these glass splashbacks. So it acts as a splashback and a window uh, to the kitchen. Uh, again, the polished floors sort of continue their way through this living area. And another feature, which is not fitted off completely yet, but is, uh, is the gas uh, log fireplace. Which, um, uh, which a big feature of this particular one is the rendered or polished rendered, um, polished rendered um, wall that it's inset into, uh, just to give it a sort of an architectural, uh, architectural feature. And then uh, across uh, to the right here we have a, um, the entertainment unit, which has uh, got all the concealed power points and plugs and whatnot in there. Uh, other features which you can't see in here, but uh, is the or oh, you can see these, of course, the square, square set cornices. Um, and the other feature that you don't see, but it's got refrigerated cooling and heating, uh, tower, uh, tiled shower bases, and, um, and, and the large uh, tall doors, all of which are standard features in our homes now. Uh, so once again, just uh, thought we'd share this with you. 
Uh, if you have any questions uh, regarding dual occupancy building, or any building for that matter, uh, feel free to give us a call, uh, Renmark Homes, uh, your custom home specialist. Thank you.